Now more cash on the George Bush Turnpike. Today is the first day drivers on the 30-mile stretch of toll road can use only a zip, a toll tag, that is, or the zip cash program. With half a million people using that road every day, you can imagine there are questions and complaints. CBS 11 Steve Pickett's live along the turnpike with this story. Steve? Well, they call it a cashless system now, Karen. You can no longer pay any money there at those poll booths. They are shut down. The question is, how much will you actually have to pay when you're billed later on? The toll booths for the George Bush Turnpike are closed and blocked. The free-flowing toll tag lanes are now open for all, tag or no tag. The new signs say it all. Traffic flow will eventually turn into cash flow for the tollway authority when you're billed on down the road. Then everybody has to just trust that they're going to do what's right. Catherine Wall isn't buying what the tollway authority is touting. She still has the $1 check she sent for payment to the NTTA for flying through a toll lane with no toll tag back in 2007. The agency sent that check back and attached a $70 penalty for non-payment two years later. The cashless toll system, she believes, could cost non-toll tag drivers in the long run. They have now escalated it, sent it to um, collections, and now they're threatening that it's going to go to warrants and citations of $250 per incident. Tollway officials say drivers without toll tags will be billed in a timely manner after a series of toll uses. But the fact is, when you get, you know, a certain number, about five, then we'll definitely send you a bill in a timely manner and make sure that when you get that bill, you pay attention to that bill. The new cashless system may keep the Bush tollway free from gridlock, but there was traffic tie-up this afternoon for those deciding to buy toll tags. So again, the change has started here on the George Bush. We are told by 2011, virtually all North Texas toll roads will be just like this one, cashless. The bill will be in the mail. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.